Hi, buddy. Hi, Sal. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Sal, welcome to Axe Head Coffee Roasters. Yes. We're hosting a show here in Muddy's Coffee House. And today we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to talk about what you got going on with Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus, and we're Great. going to enjoy a cup of coffee. And I'm going to teach you how to use a pour over. That's the important part. I'm yeah. here to learn how to how to do a pour over. So the coffee you we've decided to go with is a Tanzanian. And I'll talk about the Tanzanian as we uh, put this in there. So first thing, I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons in there. Mm, it smells delicious. So Tanzanian, this stuff is grown on the side of Mount Kilimanjaro. Really? Yeah. So I mean, that right there alone is worth buying. You know what I mean? But uh, the Tanzania pea berry is a so coffee cherries have two beans in them. Okay. The pea berry only has one bean in it, and so a lot of people like it because they believe that a lot of the flavor is concentrated in that one bean. Mm -hmm. Would it be true? I don't know. So now we've got the coffee set up. Plus all the human blood from the sacrifices have soaked into the soil. That's true, that's true. And the lava, rock, and ash, and you know, just years of death and destruction. That sounds you know. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we already preheated our water here, Sal. So first thing, take the water, and you're gonna start around the outside edges of the grounds, pour it slow, and we're gonna let that expand, and then we're gonna let it rest for a second. Spiral it inward until you get it all the way out of the way. You know, that, that expand and rest. So what's happening right now is these coffee grounds are soaking in the water and they they're going to expand and kind of layer the outside of the uh, the filter. Yeah, it's bubbling a little bit. Yeah. So it's letting some of the the gases and the air out because once coffee is is roasted, it actually lets off gases and so that's what's going on right now. Once that hot water hits those grounds, it creates that expansion. And All right, so just continue doing that. Just go around until you fill it all the way up. Kind of circling around, spiraling towards the middle. I'm not very good at this. He's doing great. <laughs> I did give him a big hefty, yeah, keep going. A big hefty pitcher to pour, so. So while that's going, I'm going to talk a little bit about Sal. So, Mr. Donovan Salerno, also known as Sal, spent 30 years in the Marine Corps. 32. 32 years in the Marine Corps. That's a, that's a long time. So Sal has been able to expand generations and seen a lot of stuff go down in the Marine Corps. I from did. The Desert Storm era. Peace time, 1980s, you know, up against the Russians, waiting for the red, the red menace to come across the yeah. European borders. <laughs> yeah. So he started out as an enlisted, enlisted filth like the rest of us, yeah. and then uh, crossed over to the dark side, <clears throat> became a, an intel officer, and uh, now he works as a an instructor, teaching guys how to instruct. Yeah. And uh, to me personally, Sal has been a mentor and a guide. You may not know this, but I mean he he always comes in my office with a little nugget of wisdom from time to time, and uh, keeps me guided on the right path. So uh, for that, Sal, I appreciate you and I appreciate you being here so this is almost percolating just how we want it okay and so now Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus what is Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus so for those people who have never been in the military no. a fair portion of our time is spent engaging in conversation with one another let's be honest we spend a lot of time waiting to do things in the military, <laughs> don't we? Yep, yep. You have these moments of intense, you know, chaos that sometimes sometimes it's combat, sometimes it's not. Yep. But all the lead-in is usually sitting around. So in one of those times when we're sitting around and we're telling stories, and we just constantly tell stories, and the humor is very dark, usually, <laughs> right? Yep, yep. Uh, somebody said, man, we should film this. Dark as this Tanzanian. Yeah, dark as this Tanzanian. <laughs> Filled with the blood of the Incans. Um, somebody said, we should film this. And it was like a light bulb went off in my head. Like, yeah, that's really true. We really yeah. should do that. So, so I didn't want to be that, the kind of person who 
says, this is a great idea, and then tells everybody what a great idea it is, but doesn't do anything. Right. So I went home and I started figuring out how I could do it. And uh, so I got some free software and I bought some, I bought a couple of pretty cheap cameras. That's why our resolution is still pretty low. But I think if it starts to kick off better, I'll probably invest some money in some better cameras. But yeah. The goal is, the idea was to take these, their stories about Marines. Marines are amazing. They're fucking, can I curse? Am I allowed to curse? Go for it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're brilliant. They're talented. They do all kinds of things that like people don't really know. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, until you start talking to them and realize, like, holy crap, this is such a cross section of America. Mm -hmm. We have little slivers of every single population that there is, and it's just what a great way to like sort of pull some of that Americana out, but also pull things about the Marine Corps out and just get people talking and telling stories. And yeah. that's really what it's all about. I just wanted to, to highlight Marines and sort of focus on an individual Marine or two maybe um, and a topic and let them go and talk and do the thing that, that magical thing that happens when you get a bunch of Marines together. Yeah. And that, that black humor comes out and people just start playing off of each other. And so that was the whole idea. I wanted to call it Uncle Sam's Misguided Children. Shout out to Uncle Sam's Misguided Children. There's a guy out there who already has a YouTube channel. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but as I started looking at uh, being able to develop maybe a website and a Facebook page and all that stuff, so I'm not crap right. So what do I do? Well, I still want to do something with USMC, so we just, I just started brainstorming stuff. I found one that yeah. I thought was kind of clever. So for all of you who didn't <coughs> catch that, Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus is USMC. And so that's what makes it even funnier. Yeah. Because it is such a magic circus. <laughs> well, that's the Marine Corps. I mean, Uncle Sugar, right? That's Uncle Sam. That's our daddy. The yeah. big daddy is the government, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, the magic circus is that thing of when, you know, holy crap, man, we're going to go to war. Okay, well, that takes six months before that happens. Yeah. And in that six months, there's training and there's, you know, moving people around and there's getting from point A to point B. And that's where all these stories seem to happen. In between moments, right. you know? so, so I wanted to try to figure out a way to capture that. <clears throat> and then, honestly, I was inspired by you. you. Say you, I'm your mentor. That's great. I appreciate that. Also, be careful because you could end up going down a bad path. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, it was really I, I saw that you were starting to do it, mm -hmm. and I got that FOMO thing where I was like, "Crap, Jess is gonna do it. I, I gotta get my thing going." Yeah. So you, you inspired me too, man. You lit a fire on me because you were you were already rolling. I mean, we. When I started this thing, I just told myself, like, I, I kept talking about it, and I said, I just have to do it and put it out there if yeah, I don't do that. Exactly. You know, and that's, it's a lesson for life, man, um, and this for everybody. It's like, you probably all have great ideas. It's the execution portion that everybody gets stuck on. Mm -hmm. If you can just overcome inertia enough to make yourself do the first step. Don't even think about how long a road it is or how difficult it's going to be. Whatever it is, whether it's going to college, whether it's starting a YouTube channel, it doesn't matter. It all fits together. You just got to take that first step. You make a plan and you just take that first step. Yep. If you break it up into a little piece and just do that first little bit, you can get it done. You just got to focus on it. Speaking of getting it done, is this ready to go? It's ready to go. Oh. It's ready to go. Yeah, that's the biggest thing is taking that first step. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, and life has changed. And people that's are afraid good. of change. And so yeah. once you take that first step, it's no longer change. Now it's uh, it's beginning to be the, the new norm. Fear of change, sometimes people have a fear of failure. Sometimes people have a fear of success, which I hadn't heard of until I started really researching stuff. You know, and what, what holds people back? Like uh, Some people are afraid that it might work and they don't deserve it. Right. So there's that group as well. I can definitely see that. So my recommendation is do stuff. That's it, words, words of wisdom. Do stuff. Do stuff. Just do it. Just do stuff, man. <laughs> and uh, you'll figure it out. You'll make mistakes and you'll fall on your face. You just got to get back up and do it again. Oh, jeez. And you'll get better. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever not had a SD card in the camera or was the light wrong one day? I remember that idea. <laughs> <laughs> you just try stuff, yeah. man. That's or it. the whole <clears throat> thing's blurry and so you can't use the video. Yeah, yeah. on that. So what's next for Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus? I know you guys yeah. have how many episodes out now? Uh, there's nine, nine episodes. <clears throat> We're getting ready to do our tenth episode. Uh, by the way, I can't talk about Uncle Sugar's Magic Cir Circus without saying that it's a two-man show. Absolutely. It's yep. me and my good friend Keith Kelly, who also teaches uh, the instructor golf course with me. Um, and he and I, well, he, we have 50, like 52 years on activity between the two of us. He's also a major and retired. Um, so yeah, we have a good time. He's not available this weekend. He's out doing motorcycle club stuff. Yeah, that we we wanted Keith to be here too, but he also doesn't drink coffee. So you know, 
I don't really insane. trust him. I don't trust him that much because he doesn't drink coffee. Yeah, you but just no. gotta keep an eye on that guy. So the funny thing about Keith is Keith's nephew, me and Keith's nephew, we actually served together uh, in Ramadi, so we've kind of got a connection there. But I uh, wish you could be here too, because like you said, it is a two man, two man gig. And yeah, we have a good time, and we play off each other like Marines always do. You know, yeah. the banter starts, and then once the banter starts, usually we can get people to calm down pretty quickly. They're not, they're not like, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if you go, I actually was on the first two episodes yes, of Uncle Shirt, and the first episode, I was like, I don't know what to do with my <laughs> But uh, so, and they are a blast to do. Cause yeah, they it are. Is just a, it's just so, yes, where we're going. The goal is um, I, right now. What we've been bad at is scheduling, so we got to get better at scheduling. Um, I'm going to get uh, a VTC setup going so we can mm -hmm. start Skyping people. It's like sometimes doing this stuff, and you'll under appreciate this probably. I don't know if anybody out there ever did Amway back in the day when I was a young corporal. I said Amway, right? You go, you go through your friends and family first, and then you're like, all right, who do I get next, right? So that's right. kind of where we're at. Yeah. We've gone through our friends and family. We found all the folks close <laughs> to us to, to interview, and now we got to start kind of reaching out, and yeah. it, professionalizing how we do it. Our scheduling, um, so that's the next step. We're just gonna, and the goal. I mean, shoot, I'd love to. Um, anybody who was a Marine, anybody who has a story, they can hit me up. And yeah, uh, yeah, I'd like to get anybody who wants to tell a story about being in the Marine Corps. We'll, we'll have you on. I don't, you don't have to know us. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll get you to send me some photos, and we'll we'll get rolling. There you go. So if you want to be on Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus, or if you have some ideas for stories for Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus, or go know somebody who should be on. Yeah, go on YouTube, subscribe to his channel first, like all the videos, check them out. They're they're pretty hilarious. Uh, I think the one that sticks out in my head is one where Keith's talking about on the he was on the the flat bottom boat and the wind caught it and went straight yeah. vertical. But yeah, so check out his uh, his channel. Uh, like it, leave some comments. Yep. If uh, hit him up through through there. And there's some additional content on Instagram, and we've got a Facebook page as well. And so the email is Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus at gmail.com. If you want to email, there we go. So contact Sal. Uh, Sal, look forward to being on the uh, the show again. Yeah, Thanks man. for stopping we'll by. Love to have you back on. And uh, how's that Tanzanian? What are you doing next week? <laughs> be on Uncle Sugar's Magic Circus. <laughs> it sounds like get the schedule going. <laughs> I like right. this coffee. It's really good. Really good. All right, guys. That's all we got for this time. Uh, I promise. I swear. I'm going to start putting these videos out a lot more. I know I've been slacking, uh, but I promise I am. The sun's starting to come out. You know, the, the sun is shining, so everybody's got a little more energy now. So, see you next time.